beautiful. And today, obviously, we're talking about fur fur. So let's get into it. Fur 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 fur. Faux fur. I know you're into faux fur. Literally, like that is the vibe. And therefore, I want to show you some faux fur options. Now, you may not be able to find these exact ones because I've been collecting these faux furs for a number of years, but I'm sure you can find something similar to it. Like, girl, it's time for you to shine in your faux fur. I am Shayna Berkeley, your neighborhood stylist, your stylist next door, here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world. Now, for those of you who don't know, my style type is ghetto glam, and I like to consider myself Diddy and Mace in the 90s. Like, take that, take that. <laughs> Take it, take it, don't break it, break it, okay? I want to be in the music video with like random lights. Like, uh, uh, just throwing my body around. Like, that's really my vibe. <sighs> the Lord hasn't seen fit yet, but you never know his plan. So a lot of these are gaudy. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. Also, a lot of these I wouldn't wear again. Thicker sweaters under, but this is my outfit today. So this first one is something that I, I don't know, I've worn a number of times, maybe like, three or four times I don't know I think just some days I just really feel like a good colored coat and I pull it out it's no rhyme or reason for this one in particular but yeah let me do a little spin it hits right at my knees it's from Eva Mendez my mom ordered it for me off of New York and Company it was originally $200 and I got it for $10 apparently there are not a lot of people who like gaudy faux fur coats but i'm one of those people the next one is my newest addition to the family her name is bird big bird she's from ross she was on 20 25 dollars and if you watch some of my past videos which you should go ahead and watch a playlist i basically have been shopping my feelings i've been thirsty for random things i've been spending my money recklessly and i i you know I went to therapy about it, but I'd already bought this at that point. <laughs> so here we are. It is her. Uh, 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 you better work. Come on, girl. Work it, girl. I just feel like Big Bird is cute, okay? She's soft. She's cute. She makes me feel happy. She matches my home decor. And I had already bought her. So I don't know what to tell you about it. Except that I like her. She has not seen the town yet. It kind of got, see, I do faux fur either if I'm going to go garage to garage, which is my love language, or if it's like a cool fall day. But it's snowing. It went from fall to snow. So I'm not really sure when I have like an opportunity to show her off, such as life. This is from Ross as well, but this is last year's Ross. This is the Pink Panther, darling. She's a very lightweight fur. She's more for looks than warmth. She's giving you no, <laughs> no hibernation situation, but she's giving you all the 90s goodness. And sometimes it should be enough for women just to do one job. Like sometimes it's okay just to be cute and not functional, okay? That's a word for somebody's life right now. If you or your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Sometimes I don't always have to work hard. I can just show up and be cute. I can be what they call functional. I mean, ornamental, 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 like a Christmas tree. What function does that have? Nothing. It's just an ornament. It's just cute. Ta-da. Okay? Rain over. <laughs> Next. We have my baby blue, baby blue, baby girl, my baby blue for jacket that I also have from, this one's from um, Charlotte Roos. Y'all remember, y'all used to shop at Charlotte Roos? I got it Black Friday like years ago. And I think it kind of really jump-started my color fur, faux fur situation. I also from Target bought this Western belt, this exact tealish color. And I've worn them together before. I don't think I took a picture. But if I did, I insert it. If not, trust me. She slays. She slays, okay? Give you a, a turn. I think this is one of um, my first ones. I know it was. Also because I like them to hit a little bit longer. But at the time, I was just getting into it. So sometimes, you don't always get your perfect fit when you're first venturing into new fashion territory. But it's also a tip, a hint. Don't expect perfection when you're trying out something new. 
Well, I'm just going to show you this one because I can't put it on. Um, a, is too tight. It's too small now. It's vintage. And B, because of what I have on. But it is a real fur bolero jacket. It's vintage. My fur people, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. They had already did what they did. And I feel like they need a, you need a home at this point. So, this jacket is from Buffalo Exchange, which is like a secondhand store, like similar to Plato's. It's not a thrift store, but it's a curated. It came from my international, so it's it's not vintage. It's a more modern or recent find. It's faux fur lined all in here. And then the outside is very 70s. I, I want to say I paid $25 for this. Ooh, I never wanted with a sweater, and it's definitely too small to do so, okay? Don't worry. But I remember when I did wear it, I had this like 70s vibe on with this dress and these knee-high tan boots. And I really was giving it to those people at that meeting that day. They didn't appreciate it, but I gave it anyway. That's also another word, honey. The Lord calls us to give even when it's not appreciated. And I give the slay. I give the looks even when the people don't appreciate it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Before I put this little pimp coat without the pimp, okay, before I put this on, I want to make sure you guys are subscribed, hit the bell notification, turn that on, honey, click to join the click, subscribe to join the tribe, we are friends, I do new videos every Monday and Friday because I want you to love your Mondays as much as your Fridays, and let's just, let's just get into this, let's just get into this, it's a size small, but it runs big, not big enough for a sweater, but I actually wore this on a photo shoot with some of my friends. And I was like, where am I going? Oh, sunglasses in these pockets. Oh, I love these. I didn't know they were missing. But let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Cue the music. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Oh! Pop, 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 pop. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, okay, okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Uh, uh. Just for my my newer followers, if you got a TikTok, I feel like that move really resonates with y'all. <laughs> Let me quit. That's my fur fur collection, guys. Six ain't bad, right? I got one in my mama house too, but don't worry about that one. Six ain't bad. And I'm I'm I think I'm done. I think I'm done unless I see something that feels overwhelmingly share the like i want you guys to comment below which one was your favorite let meet me in the comments right let me know what you think if i should get rid of any of them some of them like they don't serve me anymore and i'm all about transitioning things in and out i don't really hold on to things that don't feel like me so as this winter season goes some of these may not be in an updated coat collection next year we'll see you have to tune in i'm Shayna berkeley your neighborhood stylist your stylist next door here to teach you how to rock the trends in your real world and i'll see you soon